Hello YouTube, Bill Hensley here, and <laughs> it's been a crazy couple of months, but I just wanted to put together a video because I ordered up another Tesla. And it's going to be the Model Y. <laughs> That's right, you heard it. Model Y is getting delivered tomorrow in my driveway. What do you think about that, Ben? Cool. Cool. <laughs> uh, we went, so we went to the, what is it called place again? We went to the city hall to register it. And we asked some lady, that, can we get the license place? And so, we talked. crazy story. I mean, I live in Maine. And when you take delivery of a Tesla in Maine, you normally have to drive yourself or, or somehow get to Paramus, New Jersey to take delivery. In this instance, I placed an order back on like, like March 10th. And today is the, what is today? The, the 28th. So it hasn't even been 20 days yet. It will be soon, but uh, 20 days and I'm getting my Model Y already. And it's because it's not the one that I ordered. I ordered one that looked a lot like my Model 3 that I had, but they matched me to a vehicle that was very close to the, the order. It was just a different color. It had the tow hitch on it. Um, a few minor differences here and there, but the important thing is is that it's a seven seater, right? Yeah. So we got the seven seater. It's a Model Y, um, and it's the the long range version, which is what we wanted. We wanted a long range version yeah. with uh, seven seats. Hey, Dad, and, can I tell them a fact? Yeah, tell them a fact. <laughs> a really silly fact that so the Tesla, um, they called him yesterday. Well, a couple of days ago. Yeah, a couple of days ago, but they told on... him that he. Sorry, you're not going to get a Tesla, and he said... Oh, yeah, so it, it's a big story here, but yeah, I, I had to, um, I had to, like, pull a couple of strings here and there to, to make this work, so... <laughs> yeah. But, long story short, though, we, we've got the Tesla, it's, it's coming, and we've even got the plates and everything, we've got it registered, it's legit, so I'm not going to have to wait for... Uh, weeks or months on end before I can drive the car. I've got this thing legitimately registered already. So when they drop it off, <laughs> I can throw my plates on there. And I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah. So we're looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be ex an exciting day. So to expand on what I was trying to say here with Ben, Tesla ended up contacting me on Friday, March 24th. Keep in mind, I had just ordered my car on the 10th and was given a window of April to June. I hadn't even received a VIN number yet. When Tesla saw that they had a car that somewhat matched my configuration, they decided to give me a call to see if I'd be interested. It just happened to be a showroom floor model located somewhere in Massachusetts. Tesla explained to me that if I accepted, I would not have to wait till June to take delivery, that they would personally deliver this one to my door no later than the following week. Because they were trying to meet their end of quarter sales, and where it also benefited me due to the guaranteed tax credit, I said yes. And that's how I put myself back into a Tesla. For those of you who have been following me, you may be aware that I've been driving around in a Chevrolet Bolt EUV for a while there. Well, unfortunately, this past winter, the Bolt got into an accident. A deer had come out of nowhere and busted up the passenger side door and bumper. One of the reasons I got rid of the Tesla in the first place was because I made over $10,000 on it when I went to trade it in. Another reason I decided to walk away from it was because I was afraid that had I ever got into an accident with it, that it would be tied up in the shop for months on end. I felt at the time that by putting myself into the Chevy, should the worst happen, I would only be without my car for a couple of weeks. Well, that didn't happen. The deer accident with the ball happened in early December. Fortunately, I was still able to drive the car afterwards just with a dent in the door and the bumper slightly loose. But it took almost three months before the repair shop could take it in. Once I was able to get into the shop, the window for repairs was supposed to be only four or five days. I kept getting a call on day three or so that they were going to need it for another three or four days. And by the third or fourth time of them doing that to me, I had had enough. I asked them if they would be interested in buying it off me, and to my surprise, I got an offer that was pretty close to what I needed to pay it off, so I went that route. As soon as I sold the Bolt, I placed an order for this Tesla, and the rest is history. So what do you think of the car wash? Cool. Pretty cool with the all-glass roof, huh? Uh, huh? Okay. 
Here it comes. It's gonna do some more. It's gonna put some more soap on. Oh no. Go dance! <laughs> 